Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube here and I'm in experimental mode today. I'm trying these sort of caramel colours but with definite pops of colour as you will see. Um, this was burnt umber mixed with gold. It sort of does look like a melted chocolate or baby poo but um, it actually is a really nice colour doesn't show it too good on there so I'm just going to do a bit of a different composition splitting the canvas and then I'll layer the colours I was finding that I'd put way too much paint on the canvas as you do but uh, that was just an easy way with the sponge brush that I can wipe it up, you know, in back into the container to save every last drop um, and go on from there. So this next colour is called Sand. Um, I've just, it was an actual colour from Global. I'm not sure if they do this particular colour anymore, but it probably wouldn't be too difficult to make it up. I have to um, see if I can uh, replicate the colour. I found that that first was blob was way too thick, so I'm scooping it back up again to the corner and going to put it back into the container that I got it out of, and I've added some. I've actually added some Floetrol to that, I think, and then I'll just stir up the whole container and um, get it to the cor correct consistency that I want today is, is so I will be able to blow my colours around over the canvas. So let's go, let's try it again. So this will be uh, nice and easy to spread now because I've thinned it down so it's um, just right, hopefully. So fingers crossed and we'll get to the next stage of um, layering the colours on that paint. So you can always fix up your very sides after or you can do them while you're, you know, uh, putting your base layer down. So there's no, it's no biggie, I find that either way. And sometimes you end up blowing, if you're going to uh, use your hairbrush, <laughs> your hairdryer to blow around, you end up blowing over the edges. So today is using the Prism Pour paints and I'm using, I've used to mix the Prism Pour the Global Gloss Medium and Varnish it's called. Um, I've never seen anyone else use those products with it so I just thought I'd give it a go and try it and see, um, it, you know, how it worked with the uh, prism pouring paints or prism paints they're the ultra metallic those ones i've had them for quite a while so i just wanted to um you know start to use them a bit more in case there's a shelf life on them so yeah trying them with those um with the global medium and varnish so I'm going to see what kind of results I get to actually blow it out. So I'm doing puddle pours, as you can see, and I'm going to put my cell activator, which is cell activator that seems to get the best results for a kind of bloom effect. Is the um, I start off with just fifty percent paint and fifty percent Australian Floetrol, and the paint that I've found that sort of works the best for the laciness is the um, Amsterdam paint but everything that I'm loading on here is those prism pour paints by Colour Art. Now I'm putting my Floetrol, a white Floetrol with the um, white paint and Floetrol and then I'm going to um, yeah, put a little bit more. Because I was experimenting I wasn't taking any notice of the colours um, that I was putting down so I'm so sorry about that because I wasn't even going to um, release this video because it was a test but I just wanted to show you because I've got another video that was a bit more um, after this one that turned out absolutely beautiful too and I explain a bit more about the colours and mixing the product 
so as you can see they're blowing out nicely i just use my um, little blower everybody keeps asking me about where do you get this blower from as i've told a million times it was i found it in a charity shop but it is called a baby bailis but i cannot find one anywhere now um with this particular one i wanted to blow it out because i wanted to do the bloom and kiss i wanted to do my interpretation of the bloom effect is to put you know my um love of balloon kissing to really soften it up and add some flow so if you like the colors or with less blowing and no kissing then you just leave it as it was in the first blowout but of course i wanted all the lovely sort of romantic dreamy effect that i believe the balloon gives so let's see how we go So it did kind of go a bit AWOL with my balloon, but that's what I love doing. And I just find it always creates a really nice soft floaty effect, softens it all up. But of course you can do it, you know, you think, oh, she's gone too far, she's done this. She'd... But it's your art, your rules, your way. And that's what I was happily doing for my art. These pieces always sell really well. So, um, it's whatever you choose to do. Don't let anybody be the stealer of your light. If you, it's your art, like I said, your rules, your way. So just go on uh, doing what makes you feel happy. And that is lovely, except it was sort of, um, the paint has remained quite thick, but still got some lovely results out of it. All right, my lovelies, these are just, um, this is an app called uh, Picture Wall App and you can put your art on the wall and see what it looks like. So I like to do this at the end to show you what the capabilities, what you know, what you can do. Um, you can get prints of certain parts of your piece that you like, get them blown up to any size, you know, even have a whole wallpaper done in them that was when it was wet and it was look at it's very thick but it did uh, draw in and draw uh, absorb into the canvas thankfully so my lovelies until tomorrow bye for now